And here's to you, you're so kind. I'll give to you all my time. Honor, please be true, ease my word, red mine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, what's happening, everyone? Welcome to Patrick Tugan Music. In this video, we're going to learn how to play Here's to You, which is actually my new single, on guitar. So go ahead and grab your guitar, and let's take a peek here. Alright, so the first thing we need to do to play this song, and don't worry, this is kind of an easier song, is that we need to learn some chords. So there is about two, four, six, eight, about nine chords we need to know for this one, but they're all kind of basic chords. Um, so the first one is the F major chord. Um, now there's a couple different ways to play an F major chord on the guitar. A lot of people want to play that with a bar in the index finger across, and that's totally fine. Nothing wrong with that. Um, I'm actually going to be playing that using my thumb. I kind of wrap my thumb sort of around the neck and put it up here on string six. So let me show you how I'm kind of doing this. Let's start off with the index finger. Place your index finger inside the first fret, holding down strings one and two. And you're going to want to slide this kind of close to the edge of the fret there. All right, and then put your middle finger on string number three, second fret. And then the ring fingers going on, we're actually going to put this on string five, third fret. The pinky finger goes on string four, third fret. Now you could just play the F like this. This would be totally fine. However, in this song, we kind of need this note on string six. We need this kind of low bass note um, to play the guitar part. So. Personally, I'm not really a fan of this um, bar chord, this version of F, because I don't like how my wrist has to be pushed that much forward to do it. I do use it sometimes, but it's just not my favorite. So what I prefer to do, and it's kind of a, uh, you know, it's kind of a little bit of a bad technique, but people actually use this technique all the time, and I'll talk more about that in a second, is I'm gonna wrap my thumb up on string six to grab this first fret here. All right, so I end up playing my F major like this. To me, this is um, a lot more comfortable, right? I actually started playing chords like this as, instead of playing the major chord um, with your index finger going all the way across. I actually started playing my chords like this when I first um, was learning guitar, but I picked it up from Jimi Hendrix. And the reason he plays his chords like this is so that he can take take his fingers off easier to do these little fills, especially the pinky finger there. Um, other players like this hold the chord like this too. Um, another one would be John Frusciante from Red Hot Chili Peppers. Again, so that he can do the fills while he's holding that chord. Cool. So it's kind of considered a improper technique, and it is a little bit more advanced. Also, your hand has to be at least big enough to wrap the thumb over the top like that. Um, but I think it's going to be doable for most people out there. All right. If not, you're going to have to hold the F major chord like this. Cool. Up next is a B flat major. Um, put your index finger is going to go on string number five, first fret, and then we're going to try to stack up fingers two, three, and four. So I've got my middle finger is on string number four, third fret, ring finger is on string three, third fret, pinky's on string two, third fret. So notice how I have these all stacked inside of that fret. So the fingers are kind of really tightly squeezed together. And the pinky finger is kind of tucking inside of the ring finger, which is tucking inside of the middle finger. So they're not just side by side, they're actually sort of, the fingers are tucked into each other a little bit. And that is important to get this chord to, to happen, to sound right and to happen a little bit easier. So um, this is it, this is B flat major. I'm not playing string number six, I'm not playing string number one. So strings five, four, three, and two here. Cool. To get to the next chord, B flat over A, I'm just going to take my index finger off and make string 5 an open string. 
So it doesn't sound that great by itself, um, but in the context of this song, it's going to sound pretty good. Cool. After that comes G minor 7. Go ahead and place your middle finger on string number 6, 3rd fret. And then your ring finger is going to bar strings 2, 3, and 4, also in the 3rd fret. So um, the fingering on this one is also can be kind of tricky, but what I'm doing here is the ring finger is sort of has a backwards curve to it, because remember it's barring strings two, three, and four, and then the middle finger kind of has a forwards curve to it, and it reaches over and grabs string six. String five is muted, and string one is muted. So I'm going to be hitting all of the strings with my pick. But we're just going to end up hearing string 6, 4, 3, 2. This is a G minor 7th chord. Cool. And this um, particular voicing, this fingering, is used a lot in jazz music. Cool. After that comes a C dominant 7, or a C7. Put your index finger on string number 2, 1st fret. Place your middle finger on string number four, second fret, and your ring finger goes up to string number five, third fret. So it's like a C major chord. Then we need to add this last finger in there. The pinky is going on string number three, third fret. And we're going to strum this from the fifth string down. So avoid the top string, string number six on this one, strumming from the fifth string down. This is a C7. All right, a few chords left here. Probably recognize some of these. There's an A minor next. Place your index finger on string number two, first fret. Middle finger goes on string number four, second fret. Ring finger goes on string three, second fret. We're going to strum this from the fifth string down. That's A minor. Up next is D minor. Place your index finger on string 1, 1st fret. Middle finger goes on string 3, 2nd fret. Ring finger goes on string 2, 3rd fret, strumming from the 4th string down. That's D minor. Two chords left. Um, this next one, F6, is actually the chord that we end the song on. And it's kind of like that first shape that I showed you. The only difference is that we're uh, putting our pinky finger somewhere else. We're putting the pinky finger on string two. But let me walk you through it from the beginning. Index finger is going to be on string one, first fret. Pinky finger is on string two, third fret. So that's right there. Middle finger is on string number three, second fret. Ring finger is on string five, third fret. And then that thumb is wrapping around and grabbing string six, first fret. We're strumming all the strings, and string number four is going to end up being a muted string here. Okay, so that is F6, or F major 6. It's got a great kind of sound to it. Um, I like that one a lot, and again, that's the chord that I end the song on. Alright, and then the last chord that we need is just a simple C major chord. Um, we kind of covered that a second ago, but we'll go through it again. Index fingers on string number 2, 1st fret. Middle fingers on string number four, second fret. Ring fingers on string five, third fret. Using the tips of the fingers, position near the edges of the frets, we're strumming from the fifth string down. Okay, so take a moment there, hit the pause button, um, rewind if you want to watch those chords again. And um, if you're new to guitar, if you're still learning these chords if you feel like you need a little bit of extra help um, working on chords or chord transitions or strumming 
go ahead and check out the description um, in this video. I put a link to my gu new guitar. Ah, sorry, I put a link to my guitar course um, that's called the Easy Strumming Guitar System, where I teach you all about these chords. We go in a really deep dive, and um, that will help you tremendously if you're just starting out. So check that out. Otherwise, we're going to jump into this song. All right, so the first thing that happens is not actually chords so much as it's this guitar lick that I play. So here's what it sounds like. So it's based off of the F major chord. All right, and um, so I'm holding that F chord, but I'm not actually doing the whole thing. I don't need the thumb to wrap over the top, and I can take the pinky off, and I can put my ring finger down on string number four. So it's like an F chord that uses index, middle, and ring. And I start by holding this chord with the left hand, and I'm going to go, I'm going to pick string four. I'm going to strum the chord with a down up. I'm going to take my middle finger away, play open string 3, put the middle finger back down, pick strings 3, 2, 1. So that first measure should sound like this. Pick, down, up, down, down. Pick, down, up, down, down. And all I'm really doing is taking the middle finger away and putting it back down. Right, so here it is again off the F chord. This is the first measure. Measure number two, I'm going to add my pinky finger here on string number three, third fret. I'm going to push it down and hold it there for a second. I'm going to pick string three with a down stroke. Then I'm going to do a down up strum. Take the pinky off, pick string three again. Now it's on the second fret another down up strum. Cool, so I had the pinky on, take the pinky off. Now you're going to take the middle finger away and the uh, ring finger away. And we're going to pick open string three. So I did open string three, whoops, pick down, up, down, up, down. Okay, now I was barring there, right? Strings one and two. Now I'm going to roll this finger up on the tip of the finger and make string one an open string. Right, now I'm going to pick string three again. Do a down, up on strings three, two, one. And then play third fret string four followed by 2nd fret, string 4. So here's how the whole thing goes again. So I started on that F shape. I take the middle finger away for open string three. I put it back down. I add the pinky finger, third fret string three. I'm still kind of holding the F shape, mind you. Pick string three, down up strum, take the pinky away. Pick string three again, another down up strum. Now I'm gonna pick string three. I'm still barring with my index here. And um, what I have written is pick, down, down, up, down, up. I think I was throwing in an, up, an extra upstroke just now. But we'll make that pick, down, down, up, down, up. And then we're going to roll this index finger on the tip of its finger so that you're only holding string two first fret. And we're going pick string three, pick, down, up. And then we get ready to start over again. We go to string number four with our ring finger. Uh, that's string four, third fret. Then I do second fret with my middle finger. 
and then I hit the repeat sign and do it all again. I play that a little bit quicker. And that is the main riff um, of the song. Cool, so we start off by playing that thing twice, and then we go into the chorus here where I'm gonna kinda switch over to chords. Cool, so I'm going to start off by grabbing that chord, um, that F major chord, like I showed you before. And I'm using all five fingers on my left hand here. And I'm going to go pick, down, pick, down. And tears to you, you're so kind. So um, my guitar, my rhythm part here is kind of like uh, bluegrass inspired, so I'm doing a lot of pick, strum um, type of rhythms. And I think if I can generalize this a little bit, it would be like. It's like pick down, pick down up, pick down, pick down, pick down, pick down up, pick down, pick down up. So if I'm hanging on the same chord, I'll go pick, down, pick, down, up. So I'll add that down, up if I can. Otherwise, it's just going to be kind of like pick, strum, pick, strum, pick, strum, pick, strum, pick, strum, pick, strum, pick, strum. So you can just do all pick, strum, and it'll sound... It'll sound like, you know, 95% um, of a match to what I'm doing there. So I'm, I'm throwing in some variations on some strumming, but the core of it is going to be that pick strum, pick strum type of approach. All right, so I start with the F chord. I'm going to pick string six and then strum the rest of the chord. So when I strum, I don't play string six again. I'm going to be kind of playing strings five down, but maybe even strings four, three, two, one. Like I might not even really play string five that much. Um, but the important part there is that we're separating those notes. The note that we pick is not the note that we strum. Cool, so I'm picking string six, strumming the rest of the chord, picking string six again, strumming the rest of the chord. Now I'm grabbing the B flat major. I'm gonna pick string five, strum the rest of the chord, then let go of the index finger, pick open string five, strum the rest of that chord. Then I'm going to G minor seven, I pick string six, strum the chord, then I go to C7 where I pick string five. Let's try that again. F major, pick, strum, pick, strum, B flat, B flat over A, G minor seven, C7. Do it again. F. Pick string six. B flat. Pick string five. B flat over A is open string five. G minor seven. Pick string six. C7. Pick string five. One more time, F, B flat, B flat over A, G minor seven, C seven. Cool, let's try that much with the lyrics. Here we go, starts on an F, a little bit slower. On, two, on, and, Here's to you, you're so kind, I'll give to you all my time, honey 
let these be true is my word red mind last time b flat over a g minor seven c cool so all of the verses are going to be that same pattern so we're going to come back to that one in a second there's one other chord progression um, in this song that you need to know and that happens on pretty much every single verse also the guitar solo in the middle cool so this one starts with the F again and we're going to continue with that kind of pick strum bluegrass kind of style approach so we start with this F then we switch to an A minor here I'm picking string number five and I'm strumming the rest of the chord. I'm going to a D minor. Ready, go. Whoops, I had an accidental uh, string pick, an errant string pick there. That's okay. B flat, you're gonna pick string five then to a C. You could make this a C7 if you want, um, but it doesn't really matter that much. I usually play this one as a C. Cool, let's try that again. Back to an F. Right, so that was a little bit longer on that F chord. That was twice as long as it was in the chorus, and we would count that rhythm like this. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So that was two measures on F. Then we're going to do two measures on A minor, picking string five. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Then two measures on D minor, picking string four. Ready, go. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. One measure on B flat, picking string five. This fingering is probably gonna feel kind of awkward to get into um, if you're not used to this B flat chord yet or if you're kind of new on the guitar, um, but do your best with it. Again, it's um, sort of the trick to getting this B flat chord more comfortable is getting three, these three fingers to kind of um, stack up like this and fit inside the third fret. And then you just have to worry about the index finger. Cool. So we're on the B flat. We're going to do one measure here. So we're picking string five. One, two, three. Switch to the C. Cool. Let's do that again. And then I want to talk um, about the transitions for a second. Grab the F major. Two, three, go. Two measures. A minor, two measures. D minor, two measures, picking string four. B flat, one measure, picking string five. C major, one measure, picking string five. Cool, so um, one benefit to strumming with this rhythm, this kind of pick strum rhythm, right? Um, and we can call it a pick strum rhythm. More specifically, this is kind of gets referred to as Carter style guitar, named after the Carter family, and that's spelled C-A-R-T-E-R, -E um, as in like June Carter or Maybell Carter. Um, so it, I believe it was Maybell Carter who started, who was kind of pioneered this pick strum style on the guitar or at least she gets she gets the credit for it but um, a lot of what you hear in folk music and country music kind of has this you know this kind of walking bass line thing with strumming in between and that's kind of like the default um, bluegrass kind of um, strumming technique um, that kind of gets attributed to um, the Carter family, and that's called the Carter-style guitar approach. 
Cool. Anyways, when you're doing the verse on this, part of the benefit with this strumming technique is that the transitions, you only have to get the first note there, right, to the next chord, um, since you're doing pick strum. So what I mean by that is like, for the F chords, you only really need the thumb here. You know, absolutely, we only really need the thumb at the very beginning to get that first note that we pick, right? So when I'm going to the A minor chord, I need to pick string five, and that buys me a split second to get the fingers on before I strum it. Same thing on the D, I can get my pick there first and hit the open string four. That buys me a split second to get the rest of the fingers down. But it's really gonna help out here on the B flat because I just need to get the index finger there slightly ahead of time. And then on the C chord, get the ring finger there slightly ahead of time. Cool, so if you get those, um, the fingers, whatever finger is holding the bass note, sometimes it's just an open string, get that finger there first on the transitions. That way you can, you have a little bit extra time since that first note is just gonna be a single note. Anyways, let's try playing this verse. And um, here we go, a little bit slower on the F. One, two, one, two, three, Every day it seems like there's a new catastrophe Lurking in the shadows, waiting to pounce on me But the world just keeps on spinning and nobody seems to care Is it just that the new normal sorry I should scroll down here that was a D minor then we get a B flat is a lifetime of despair then we're into the chorus again on the F two three go but you you're so kind I'll give to you All my time Honey, please be true Is my word Read my hand Yeah, yeah, yeah Just keep going. Verse number two, back on the F. One, two, ready, go. There's a poison in the water and a sickness in the air. They say it's temporary and that next year will be fair. The promise never comes And the problems just get worse It's a lifetime full of fortunes Fortunes that are cursed <laughs> Sorry, I messed up the lyric there Got distracted for a second, that's how it goes Keep going though, back to the F Two, three if dreams could last forever, I would meet you in my sleep. Have a picnic on the moon and go dancing in the deep. You and I together, we can beat them if we try. Got nothing to lose. And someday we're gonna die Anyways And that takes us into the chorus Cool, and this is gonna be like the other chorus Sorry, I gotta grab a quick drink real quick We're in on the F Two, three, but you 
You're so kind I'll give to you All my time Honey, please be true Is my word Read my mind Go back to that B flat Yeah, yeah, yeah Now here's where I do the chorus a second time, but instead of doing the chords, I guess the chords still happen, but I play this one with the intro guitar part. So I'm gonna do that part there. Cool, um, but we can keep strumming the chords which at whichever one you're comfortable with. Here we go. One, two, three, four, on, and here's to you. You're so fine I'll give to you All my time Honey, please be true I'll ease your word mind So I come in right there on the F Yeah, yeah, yeah Now we're into this instrumental section. Um, there are actually three guitar parts here that kind of harmonize with each other. And it's, it's probably one of the easier guitar solos you're ever going to encounter. So we can learn all three of them. Um, part number one starts on the fifth fret on string number three. So I'm going to go up there. I'm gonna actually going to use my ring finger to hold down string number three, fifth fret. And I'm going to play. So I'm going to play this note a few times. Right, so I'm reading the tab on guitar part one, that top line. Five, 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 three, two, three. Five, 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 seven, five. I kind of slide up to the seven. Come down here to the second fret. Two, 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 zero. Third fret. And you see there um, towards the end, I did a zero, two, zero hammer on pull off. So I'm picking the open string, hammering on the second finger, pulling off to the open string again. So here's how this whole part goes. Whoops, one more time. Then I go to part number two to harmonize with part number one. Another little hammer on pull off there on that one. All right, so that started on the sixth fret string two. Then I went to string three for seventh fret, fifth fret, seventh fret. Back to string number two. You can either do a, um, you can either pick this note with your pinky, the eighth fret. Um, you could do a hammer on. Um, I kind of forget exactly what I'm doing, but I am using the 8th fret. Then I'm going 7th fret, string 3. 5th fret, 7th fret, string 4, back to 5th fret, string 3. And then 7th fret, string 3. I'm doing 3rd fret, 5th fret, 3rd fret on string 3 for hammer on pull off. Then second fret string three, open string three. So here's that part all together. It starts on string two. String 
three. Cool. And then there's one more part here that is going to start on the fifth fret on string number one, and it's going to go like this. So that's index finger on 5th fret string 1 to start. Then I'm going to do 8th fret string 2, 6th fret string 2, back to 8th fret. Back to 5th fret string 1. I'm going to use my middle finger for the 6th fret, back to the 5th fret. Then 6th six, uh, fret string 2. 5th fret string 2, 7th fret string 3, back to 5th fret string 2. Then I'm going to go 8th fret string 2, 6th fret string 2, hammer on pull off, 565 five on string 2, 7th fret string 3, 5th fret string 3. So here's this guitar 3 part all together. Sixth fret string two. Cool, so I just kind of stack those parts um, one on top of the other in the recording. That's what you're hearing. But you can't really stack them. If I'm playing it live, I might use a looper pedal um, and I could just record one and then the other and then the other and then I could sing and play on top of it. Um, but if I didn't have a looper pedal and I wasn't, you know, in a recording studio, I would just pick one of those parts to play um, or just make up a different solo. Cool, but that's what's happening in the instrumental section. And then looking at the rest of the tune here, verse 3 is going to be pretty much the same as all of the other verses. Cool, so let's go through it. We're on an F. Two, three. Here's a toast to all the madness, all the battles and the scars. Let's dance like no one's watching And aim to shoot the stars Stop worrying about tomorrow And start living for today Going to a D minor Yeah, all those little problems work themselves out anyway. When I look up to the heavens, see your name upon the sky. Going to the D minor again. Maybe. Does this not want to scroll down anymore? All right, well, I will fix that in a second. It's a D minor. You can see the chords. I'll sing the lyrics for you. This is all just an illusion, so I might as well get high on you. And it goes into a chorus. Now, this is something on my screen is blocking this out. What's up with that? Um, I guess I just can't scroll this down anymore. Let me see if I can fix this. Sorry. that one all right got it so just a little bit left here we're on to a chorus again on an F to ready and you you're so kind I'll give to you all my time let it please be true my word, read my mind, yeah, yeah, yeah. Then we're going to do the chorus again, and this is where I'm going to play that intro guitar part. And tears to you, you're so fine. 
give to you all my time. Honor, please be true, is my word. my I'm back on the F. That's when I start strumming again. And then I'm going to do this these chords a few more times and just kind of tag the lyrics at the end here. So when you hear someone kind of repeat the last like couple words in a song, in this case I'm going to say my worried mind, yeah, 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 or even just the yeah, yeah, yeahs, um, that's called a tag, T-A-G. Cool, so we're on an F, two, three, my worried mind, yeah, yeah, yeah. I will ease your worried mind Yeah, yeah, yeah Alright, and then There is kind of a twangy guitar, uh, country kind of guitar part here It's going to be 2nd fret string 3 I'm going to do a pull off there to the open string Then I'm going to pick 3rd fret, open string, on string 4. So I want string 3 to string 4. Cool, and then I'm going to do a, a 3-0 pull off on string 4. Pick 3-0 on string 5. So that one again was 3-0 pull off on string 4. Pick string 5, 3-0. I'm going to do a little bend on string 6, 3rd fret, probably use two fingers for this, and end on 1st fret string 6. So kind of a twangy little bend at the end there. Put the whole thing together, sounds like this. So that was 2nd fret string 3, going to open string, 3rd fret, open string four. So let me just say it like this. So string three, two, zero, then three, zero, string four, then string four again, three, zero, three, zero, string five, string five again, three, zero, bend on three, and on first fret string six. And then I grab that F6 chord. In the recording, I hit the chord right up where the first fret is, but that's kind of hard to do if, if you're the only guitar player, so. So there's like a little, because of the string bend, it causes this little kind of delay there. So um, if I'm playing it and it's just me, I'll play this lick. And then I'll strum the chord. And that F6 chord, remember, it's like an F major chord. And I'm putting my pinky finger on 3rd fret string 2. The rest of the fingers are all um, where they were on a regular F major chord. You could also do this with the bar chord version that looks like this. You just drop the pinky down to string 2. All right, so that's all the way through the song. Um, there's a couple little things I want to mention. Oh, I guess this window formatting is going to be weird for the rest of the for the rest of the live stream. Oh well, that's what happens. Um, there's a few th things on here that I'm doing. So I mentioned the pick strum, and I have some extra kind of strumming variations, right? So if I'm if I'm over here and I'm going. Probably not just going to do pick strum the whole time. I'm going to throw in some extra uh, down up or up down up fills. So I might be going like pick down, pick down up, pick down, pick up down up, pick down, pick down up, pick down, pick up down up. So I might be throwing in an extra down up or an up down up on some of those pick strum chords. The other thing I'm doing is these little um, fills with my left hand by sort of like doing a hammer-on. Um, I, I kind of generally refer to this concept as using neighboring tones. So it's if, like, 
say you're holding the F chord, right? So, um, where do I actually do this? And here's to you, you're so kind. So I do it on the C chord for sure, and you can see that I hammer on this middle finger. So I go pick, down, up, hammer, down, up. So in that case, I was picking string five, doing a down, up stroke, then picking string four, but doing an open string, second fret, hammer on, and then another down, up stroke. So pick, down, up, hammer, down, up. So you could do that on any of the chords if you can find um, a good note to hammer on. You can also do that with a pull-off, the same, same concept. So some chords are going to work better than others, just based on which finger um, makes it easy to do one of those little fills. The C chord is perfect, though. And um, a little sort of note to self, that fill works on any context with a C major chord in it. So it doesn't have to be this song. It could be any other song that has a C major chord in it. It will always sound good to hammer on that middle finger. Right, it doesn't have to be the pick strum rhythm. It could really be um, any sort of rhythm or style, you know, like, um, what could I do here? So that's pretty much always going to work with this C chord. So if you, learn it, if you learn that little move in this song, you can use it in any other song. Um, on the F chord, sometimes I hammer on the middle finger, but this time it's on string three. Um, what else am I doing that? I think on a verse. So let's look at the verse chords one more time. Cool. So these little hammer-on pull-off uh, pull fills and the and the the notes in between the chords and stuff, that's all kind of from that Carter style. Um, it's all kind of like bluegrass guitar, um, and I'm going to continue using that uh, throughout this song. So on the verse, it's going to be the F again. So on the A minor chord, I might alternate between picking string five and strumming, and then picking string four and strumming. So it doesn't just have to be the same note that you pick. I'm going to pick string five, four, five, four. That's called an alternating bass line. Um, that's also like another bluegrass technique. On the D minor chord, I use fingers one, two, and four. So you see that my hand looks kind of weird when I grab a D minor. And the reason is that so that I can do this fill with my ring finger. Right, so I can play around with some of these notes on strings five and four. And what I'm using is the third fret on string five or the third fret on string four. But you can do all these little fills with a D minor chord. So easy little fills with the pick strum technique with that ring finger on the D minor. Um, and then on the B flat, I'm not really doing anything. And the C, I'm using that middle finger again. So on the F chord, I think I'm throwing in a little hammer on and pull off, but later on in, this, in the measure. So like one, two, three, four. So in that case, I'm kind of doing like a, a little Jimi Hendrix fill. Um, I think I learned this one first time in like uh, Wind Cries Mary or something. But you're holding this F chord. And we're picking strings three and two. And I'm hammering down the middle finger. So string three will be an open string. The rest of the fingers are holding the F chord. Um, when I take this middle finger away, this is called F sus two. And when I hammer it back down, it's F major. So I add that little fill um, on when I'm strumming on the F in the verses. I might add a little pinky fill on the A minor. So I'm doing like a pull off on string one. I'm pulling off three, zero, and then I'm picking strings two and three 
with the notes that I'm already holding in this chord, or with the left hand. The D minor, we already went through that one. I kind of, that kind of reminds me of that old country song, Ghost Riders in the Sky by Johnny Cash. Something like that, and then B flat. I don't really have much I can do on this one, right? Because the chord uh, is already kind of awkward to hold here. And it's like, I mean, I, hammering in the index finger isn't really gonna help me out here. Um, and so there's not much I can do on that one. I'm just gonna play through it and get to the C. Cool, and I think that's pretty much it for all the little tricks I'm doing on this one. Again, this intro part is up here. You don't have to use the pinky there. You could just drop the ring finger down. Um, the important thing, though, on this intro part is that you get the notes to ring out nice and clearly, and you keep them ringing throughout. So we, we want them to sort of sustain and sort of um, let them ring into each other as you're playing this as much as you can. Well, that kind of reminded me of like a Tom Petty sort of um, type of a guitar lick I've heard in some of his songs. But it's also, again, it's kind of like that bluegrass guitar style. All right, so that's the size of it. We're going to play the whole play through the whole thing one more time to uh, end this lesson as soon as I take a little sip of this tea. All right, so here we go. We're going to start off with this intro part. I'm going to play this two times and then start in on the chorus. Sorry, lots of water breaks today. <laughs> All right, here we go on the intro. One, two, one, two, three, four. Here's to you, you're so kind. I'll give to you all my time. It's the same chords. Please be true, ease my word, mine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me scroll down. Sorry, it was the same chords, and I didn't want to stop while I was singing there. Verse one, on an F, two, on two, three, and every day it seems like there's a new catastrophe. Lurking in the shadows, waiting to pounce on me. But the world just keeps on spinning and nobody seems to care. D minor. Ah. One. Two, one, two, three. Is it just that the new normal is a lifetime of despair? That one didn't get me too far. <laughs> on to the F. Sorry, I've got this little uh, mouse wheel that's kind of driving me nuts on the F. But you, you're so kind. I'll give to you all my time. Honey, please be true, ease my word, mine, yeah, yeah, yeah. On to the next verse. Let me try scrolling like this. No? Almost? There it is. One, two, one, two, three. There's a poison in the water and a sickness in the air. Say it's temporary and the next year will be fair. The promise never comes and the problems just get worse. It's a lifetime full of trouble and fortunes that are cursed. Yeah. 
If dreams could last forever, I would meet you in my sleep. Have a picnic on the moon and go dancing in the deep. You and I together, we can beat them if we try. Got nothing to lose, and someday we're gonna die anyways. And to an F, you know what? I'm just gonna get rid of this window here so we can see this stuff. There we go. On the F. Betty, go. Let me try that again. <laughs> On, two, three. But you, you're so kind. Oh, you know what? Sorry. You guys aren't seeing what I'm seeing. There we go. Two, three. But you, you're so kind. I'll give to you all my time. Honey, please be true. He's my word, mine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, now we need to get into. We're doing the chorus again with the intro part. Here we go. Ready, set, go. And here's to you. You're so fine. I'll give to you all my time. Honey, please be true. At least your word. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pick one of these guitar parts. Part two. Part three. Oops, you guys can't see part three. Two, three, four. Stack them all together. Here we go on an F. Nah, you can't see the chorus there. One, two, one, two, three. Here's a toast to all the madness, all the battles and the scars. Stance like no one's watching and aim to shoot the stars. Stop worrying about tomorrow and start living for today. All those little problems work themselves out anyway. When I look up to the heaven, see your name upon the sky. Going to a D minor. This is all just an illusion, so I might as well get high on you. You're so kind, I'll give to you all my time. Honey, please be true, ease my word, my mine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Play the intro part is to you. You're so fine. I'll give to you all my time. Gonna please be true. At least your word. Sorry, I gotta keep scrolling so much. Uh, I gotta fit this on here. Alright, on the uh, outro part, it's on an F chord. Worried mind, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do it again. I will ease your worried mind, yeah, yeah, yeah. Here comes the lick. F7 
six chord. Cool, so that is it. That is Here's to You. That's my new single. Let me get out of this thing here. What's happening, everyone? So had some, uh, some technical challenges this evening, but I think we made it. We survived. Cool, but that is, uh, those are the guitar parts to my new single, Here's to You. Hope you enjoyed that lesson. Um, if you are, whoops, it's a little bit lopsided. If you are new to the guitar or you're interested in learning how to play the guitar, check out the link in the description. Um, take a look at my, my new course. It's called the Easy Strumming Guitar System. I think you'll like that a lot. And there's also a free quick start guide. Cool, so I will see you guys next time. Thanks so much for supporting my channel. Have a great evening.